Hello, welcome to Los Creek Kennels. Today we're going to talk about the challenges and training involved in running long lines as well as watching Rise do a little simple tea work. Enjoy the video. Okay guys, here's an overview of what we're going to do today. I put two bumpers out across this field. Cole was in his pen while I did this. So this is a, a blind retrieve. The plan today is to watch Cole run down this briar filled bank, swim the channel, have an angled exit, run across 200 plus yards of field, uh, find a bumper in return. Then we're going to back it up and break up the line and discuss different aspects of difficulty and what we're looking for. The first challenge we run into is I give Cole the far command Yet, he has to look and work close to get through this low-lying tree and work his way through this briar patch. A dog's tendency would be to go around these obstacles and cut down the hill to the right and would immediately get him offline. Once Cole hits the water, we want him to swim the channel. The temptation here will be for him to want to run the bank and get out of the water. As we approach the bank ahead, since Cole has been trained to stay in the water and to swim the channel, the temptation would be for him to be drawn to the left to continue around the bend in the water. Or, when he hits the bank, instead of having an angle exit and keep his line, it would be to turn right and go and square up with the hill. Once we hit the field here, the dog will have a lot of different things to draw his attention. He may want to parallel the bottom of the field line and square up with it. He may want to parallel the top of the hill. The bowl in the center of the field can bend your dog's line, drawing your dog down or up and then bending around the bowl. The biggest factor though for this part of the retrieve is definitely the dog's confidence. To run 200 yards to an open field without seeing a bumper or smelling it, just on the trust that your handler said to do it. Uh, typically a dog that lacks confidence will stop, sit, turn around and just look back at the handler and wait. Or they'll establish a hunt early and try and find the bumper on their own. As Cole makes his way back here, it's important that he doesn't drift down the hill. We want him to be set up to be able to swim the channel. So Cole now at the top of the bank has a clear visual choice. He could cross the creek and run the bank, or he could keep a straight line, get into the water, and swim the channel. Even though Cole has now successfully made it into the water, he's still swimming against the current. There's large fallen logs and debris in the water, and the temptation to be able to get out of the water and run the bank is real. I would also add it's about 45 degrees out and the water is very cold. Just when you think we're almost done, we have another challenge. We want Cole to climb the bank and go through the briar patch and under the tree to maintain a straight line. The temptation is to walk around the briar patch, stay in the clear and run wide but it's important that we run straight lines. If I was to let Cole get away with running around uh, obstacles on the way back, he would certainly start running around obstacles on the way to a retrieve. So to summarize, Cole did a 300 yard retrieve over various terrain without a single correction because he runs straight lines. This is Rise. She's not quite weaned off her first litter of puppies, but she's been absolutely begging me to work every time I take Cole out. So this is a simple tea, very easy for Rise to do. Uh, I don't even think there'd be an opportunity for correction uh, with Rise. But let's watch how she works. Rise is a really fun, energetic dog. 
It's like she has springs uh, for legs. She's always hopping around and jumping around. She really likes to work and is just an, an easy to manage dog. I use a single whistle for sit, two quick short whistles when I cast, and repetitive blast for a return command. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can check out our webpage at LoseyCreekKennels.com. I'll also leave a link down in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the like button and there's a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the video. And as always, God bless and have a great day.